Hello guys, what are you doing today? Today on Big Bear's family, we're gonna cook spaghetti with vodka sauce on the grill. So guys, stay tuned. Well, you're feeling kind of ragtag, sleeping in a sleeping bag, looking up at the night sky, wondering if you are the right guy. I get all up in a knapsack I carry it all up on a naked back But you don't gotta go far You got a neighbor with an open door Cause we're a great big family Living under a great big sky above We're gonna have a great big jubilee Where we're gonna feel a great big heart for love We're gonna have a great big sing along Where we're gonna sing a great big family song So we got our hamburger meat. Mama Bear had already put out uh, hamburgers, uh, padded out hamburgers for us. And uh, I've got us some uh, charcoal going here. And we just now, this was the last part of our charcoal. I'm getting it good and hot. Uh, that way we can cook our uh, meat on it and our noodles. We're going to do our noodles. Noodles and this. We got bottles of water. Okay. Let me see that. Uh... Oh, oh, yep, we neglected my little uh, Dutch oven. Drink it. And uh, we got it rusted. I'm going to have to season it up, put some oil on it. But yeah, we're going to get this far ready. We're going to cook us some food and uh, I hope it turns out good. I know the vodka sauce will be good. And so our cheeseburger or hamburger meat will have. Um, vodka sauce in it and spaghetti all mixed together. That's the vodka sauce is really good, so I think it'll turn out really good. So, all right, I'm gonna get it off here, and as usual, the dogs start barking the time I get on the on here. I don't know what it is. Let's get this far going. And let's uh, get these tacos stirred up. And let's get busy. All right, we got our noodles in our pan with water. And we got our hamburger and our spatula over here. Getting ready to try to fry it on the grill. Papa's on. Yep, we got um, we're cooking it in the Dutch oven for our noodles, and then once we drain our noodles and then our hamburger, we're going to combine it in that one Dutch oven pot and work with our vodka sauce. And we're going to let it simmer just for a little bit so the noodles can soak up everything. And uh, we're going to have us some spaghetti over a grill. So hopefully the charcoal and the smoke flavor goes up into the noodles. And stuff. I'm gonna try to close my uh, grill lid, and we're going to uh, go ahead and see if we can't get this to cooking. Yeah, that's perfect. Well, okay, guys, look at here. We got uh, we got our meat, our frying, our uh, macaronis or pasta, pasta. Let's, let's say pasta, not macaronis. Is uh, getting big and looks like they're uh, doing really good. So we're gonna cook this for a few more minutes and uh, get the meat good and brown. As you can see, it's still red. We'll fry that up good and brown. Drain the meat. Get the pasta done. Drain the pasta. And we'll put it all together. Coals are still good and hot. Look at that. We're doing good, guys. I hope this turns out good. You may want to try it instead of just cooking hamburgers or steaks on the grill. Or chicken, you can cook about anything on the grill. And what's what do you want? Um, something to eat. Why? Because I'm hungry. No, we this, Mom. that's it. Want some mm -hmm. No, there ain't no more. Why do you need very bitty cheese? All right, guys, Mama Bear forgot to film me putting it together. <laughs> But we was kind of occupied in draining the water and the grease. And not getting burnt. And not getting burnt. So we put it together and here is what the final product looks like. Mmm. 
something. It's hamburger, bow tie noodles, and vodka sauce. And then I got and the plates. And it was all cooked on a grill. On with the grill charcoal. with charcoal. You can go put, cook it on anything, open fire. If you're doing it camping, you want to make you a good meal, that's all you got to do. Walmart noodles, no sponsor. Vodka sauce, uh, what? Uh, for Bertoli's. Bertoli's. And just regular hamburger meat from me, or from uh, Walmart. Walmart. Yep, that's it. That's about two pounds of hamburger meat. And it's feeding a family of five. Mmm, can't good. wait. Hopefully it's got that smoky flavor in it from the barbecue. And yeah, we're going to dig in. We'll tell you how it is here in just a few moments, guys. Lord, thank you for the food that we're about to eat. Bless it, sanctify it, let it nourish your bodies, Lord. Thank you for providing this meal for us today. We really appreciate it. And we praise you for being so good to us. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Amen. Sam, what do you think about the grilled pasta on the vodka sauce and That's stuff? Things are looking good. Things are looking good. Mama? Delicious. Delicious. Mm -hmm. Turned out good. Canaan, what do you think about it, buddy? Is it good? Awesome. Well, guys, we're going to eat here with the lanterns going. We're going to get us something to eat. I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you find that you can cook it someday for yourselves. You can get the grill or the camp. It's really good, I, I promise you. Well, guys, I'm going to get off here. I'll see you later. Now that thing looking good. The next day. All right, guys, we got our pocket door frame in today. We're going to try to install it. I'm new at this. I don't know how to do it, but I'm figuring it out. It shouldn't be too bad hard. I'm hoping anyway. But uh, we got um, there's the the header of the frame, and these is what I'm calling the aluminum studs. It comes with all the hardware, as you see here, it comes with the, the little roller, the little brackets to hang your header on, all that good stuff. So we're going to try to hook it in today, me, Mama, and Kanan over there. We're going to try our best to hook, a, not hook it up, but put it up and see how it goes from there. So wish us luck, guys. Stay tuned. pocket door as I said earlier we've got this much done so far and uh, yesterday before we cooked we didn't film it but uh, we got the wars run for our uh, living room we got that done and uh, what else did we run yesterday did we run our kitchen no. that was the day four wasn't it okay we ran our kitchen and we've got just a little bit of wiring left over and uh but it's not enough to run from the breaker box all the way over here so we'll have to wait and get us another row of it so just one more row of wiring and that'll be it because we just got the bathroom and 
the pantry and Kelsey's room. And I think I got almost enough to do half of Kelsey's room, but I just ain't got enough to run from the breaker box. Then, or I'll have enough to do the pantry for sure, but uh, one more row should do it. I got to buy some row of 12-3 because I'm going to put in three-way switches for us to um, turn off our lights either through the front door or the back door. And I'm thinking about doing our bedroom the same way because, which I don't know if I can or not really, to be honest with you. It'll be all right. I think we can just shut our room off light and, you know, if we got TV and stuff like that going, it ain't going to hurt nothing, so... But three ways, definitely for the back and the front door. That way we can turn off the kitchen and the living room lights as we go out or in. So, and I got to get the door for the back door frame so I know where to put my stuff at. And uh, Lowe's has these kits of doors. Uh, they're just like this. So this is the door that the, the cabin came with. And uh, these kits are a hundred. What did I say? Twenty-six dollars online right now. And what it is is it comes with all the wood pre-cut. Okay, for a standard size door, uh, you buy the hardware and all that good stuff. And I can put the door handles in myself. I I know how to do that. And there's actually little jigs that you can buy that you can drill the holes and place everything. And uh, but I can do all that, which I actually had to do some modifications to this door did them on and to get that in so no big deal we can do that and uh i gotta buy a weather strip and a threshold so it'd be cheaper than buying a pre-hung door and stuff because pre-hung doors right now for just the plain metal ones are probably around i ain't really checked on them because i'm not really looking for a metal one but i think they're quite a bit ain't they and the only thing i have to do to this when the weather seal it is if I want to in the joints because it's tongue and groove I just got to put uh, some sealant in it like some caulking some of that waterproof caulking that I put on the windows and a um, all that good stuff and uh, that should be good but there it's what we're gonna put on the inside doors too we're gonna buy the same thing for all the inside pocket doors because actually that's the cheapest way to go and uh, it's, it looks rugged it looks rusted it looks like it's homemade built even though technically it is it's already cut out in size for you so you don't have to do all the guesswork of making it and it look it'll look just like this so you got one side it's got little grooves in the uh, joints and then you got a side like this it's flat so yeah there you go but uh we got uh we're gonna try to get these studs in on the door, and then I gotta go buy some screws to put it the rest of the way in because there's some screws that didn't come with to go down in the floor to steady it and to attach it to everything. But I've got my studs cut out. I'm using a seven inch blade on a 10 inch saw, but it's working. It's working. Hey, when you can't afford a metal saw blade for a 10 inch chop saw, they're $35. None of the stores have them in stock. And uh, what do you do? You do what you can. I had a seven inch blade for the saw, or circular saw, the hand saw. But I said, I'm gonna try it on this chop saw and see if that works. It works. It works, so if it works, I ain't worried about it. I'm just doing four pieces of metal, that's it. And after that, it's done. And that's all we, we gotta do. It's all we got to do with, that's what you can do, what you do with, so. But anyways, we're going to finish this up, and uh, we have some hyperlapse of it, and so you can see the, from the beginning to the end of us putting it in. So, we'll probably get back into that right now.
guys we got our pocket door in only thing we gotta do is put the hardware up in the in the rail up here and uh, once we do that we uh, when we get once we get our door and we got screwed them down to the floor because it didn't come with screws for whatever reason and uh, but it's got screws for everything else but I'm gonna go ahead and buy some screws to, to do this the rest of the way but guys this is it this is the finished pocket door it's framed in that's what it looks like pretty wasn't too bad of a job it was pretty easy um, I wasn't gonna say it was the easiest job in the world the hardest part about the instructions really ain't that good it's a Cali door brand door frame and uh, yeah, I, it didn't go in like it should have went in, but, you know, it is what it is. But, uh, it is in. The only thing left to do is plumb these little studs up and go from there, guys. I mean, it's, it's halfway decent anyway. But that's our, that is our pocket door. We just got four more to go. But we're gonna put this one in that way we've got a functioning bathroom because we're gonna put insulation again on this wall and there'll be backer board about right here where these studs is at so yep somebody just walked in it's canaan so canaan what do you think about it son it's good it scared me when we were cutting the metal bars off it was it scared him because we was using the chop saw with that blade and it sparks flew and that scared him half to death. I had it run off. You can see I'm uh, sweating pretty good. Yeah, we got the fan going. We had the heat when we first came in. It's kind of chilly out. But, uh, okay. we, uh, you, uh, we had to turn the fan on because it got kind of warm. We turned the heat off. But the fan's too cool to be directly on you. It's just 65 out today. I think we actually hit the first official weather-wise weather day of fall here in the good old Kentucky, southeastern Kentucky. But yeah, that's what we got done. That's all we're gonna get done for today. We we really ain't got much left to do. Um, we got we can do start doing our plumbing stuff, but we really don't have the things for hit either because I don't want to really get into hit until we get everything because I don't want to miscut the pipe and stuff like that. I don't want to try to get it as perfect as possible. And uh, there will be tees and stuff that goes in, so I need my tees, I need my crimping tool, uh, I need the crimps or clamps or whatever. I, I gotta get all that before I really get into the doing plumbing. Um, but, you know, uh, we do have running water here. If we have to go into that house over there to get it, that'll be fine. Or if we have to run a water hose up here, That'll be fine too. Uh, and we drink bottled water, so. Yep, it's kind of fun if you've seen in the video, we cooked out on the grill with our pasta and stuff, and me and Mommy actually had really a lot of fun doing that. So we're thinking that while we're living in here without full blown electricity, because we can't really cook on anything and we don't have a stove to cook on in here. Uh, because we are converting to electric stove instead of a gas stove. And uh, we figured we'd just do a lot of grilling and stuff. So that's what we're thinking about doing. Uh, doing more of a primitive style cooking type deal. And uh, we'll we'll put some processes on it of how we cook stuff. And we do have like a little electric skillets and grills and stuff like that we cook with. So we'll use them too. So. But yeah, we're, we're trying to go from having pretty much nothing to having a little bit of something. So, there's the sunshine. There's the sunshine. Been supposed to be maybe the first frost today. We'll see. Or tomorrow in the morning. We'll find out, won't we? We'll Am get I up early and find out. It was snowing in yeah. October. It snowed in October. It does sometimes. It could this year. You never know. From one end, we're just in the first of October, can so. We could go from 80 degree weather in October to 30 degree weather by the end of October. Yeah. 
usually winter sets in about mid-November, end of November, so we're just experiencing really the big time frost, and you're fine, it ain't buckled down there at the bottom. It ain't screwed in. But yeah, we gotta do a little bit more buttoning up to it as far as screws going on the floor and getting our door and putting the hardware in. But I'm gonna call it finished for right now because we don't have the screws. I've gotta wait to get the screws and stuff like that. And uh, yeah, so we are gonna go ahead and get off here. We're gonna call this a video, guys. I hope you've enjoyed it. Cooking pasta, putting in a pocket door. You know, that's pretty much kind of the way our days go. We cook and eat and build and mom's last day of vacation. She's got to go back to work tomorrow, man. Well, yeah, she only got like a six day vacation though. Technically, yeah. But she can't miss Saturdays. None of them can miss Saturdays, which don't make a lick of sense. But, you know, it's, that's the way they do it. But you can't get really a four to seven days off. I could have been smart and took off next week and then all weekend, but I wanted to be off with the kids. So it's her Saturday work. So it's my fault. So it's her fault. But it's, okay. but it's all right. Kids was off on it. She still has Sunday off, so she only had six day vacation. But it's okay. It, it is what it is. She's glad to get the rest for a little while. Anyways. Yeah. But guys, like I said, we're going to get off here. We're going to call it a video. If you like today's video, you know what you can do? Take a hammer to that like button and smash it hard as you can. It can be a sledgehammer. It can be a framing hammer. Whatever kind of. It could be a jackhammer. Just, just hammer it good for us. Hit hammer that subscribe button too because we like for you to join our family. We sure would appreciate that. And uh, share us. Share us with everybody. Family, friends, strangers, neighbors, co-workers, whoever. And hit the notification bell because you don't want to miss what we as a family do. We can do anything. And follow us along in our house build journey. Now, we love you guys. And as always, have, have a big, big birthday! birthday.